Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to send notifications in Roblox. So before I uh, go ahead and like show you how to do all this, I just want to say the reason why I have not uploaded for a couple days was because my computer broke down and it reset everything. So I just had to, you know, just download everything. But don't worry, we're back on track and everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So what we're going to do is in order to send notifications, it's going to be kind of like, I believe it was last video. Yeah, it was last video where we uh, showed you how to do server messages. It, um, I'll go ahead and put a card up there for it right now. It's going to be kind of similar. So, and you'll see why. So on starter player scripts or star GUI, it doesn't really matter. What you can do, click on plus, click on local scripts. Now I'll go ahead and do control A, then backspace, just so nothing's in your script. Now what you want to do is do game colon starter. Oh wait, no, not not colon start. Uh, dot star GUI. Yeah, and then colon set core, and then uh qu quotation marks. Now last time, uh, we typed in chat make uh oops uh system message we last time we put that in there but now instead of chat make system message we put send notification so what we're going to do is we're going to do comma space and then we're going to go and insert squiggly brackets so it identifies as a table now inside of this what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in the title of our notification so what we're going to do is, is we're just going to type in title and then equals and then a string value. So this string value is going to be your title. I'm just going to do notification. All right. Next, we'll go ahead and do the actual text of the notification. So um, we're going to say this is a test notification. Um, oh, uh, misspelled is somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah, and also, uh, we also have to put wait symbols after every, uh, line in order for, like, this to actually work properly. So, now that we have our required stuff out of the way, now we can go and start doing our optional stuff. So, you can also put icons in notifications, and it's actually really simple to do. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, you just put an icon equals... And then your Roblox asset ID for that decal. Um, I'll go, I don't like have a decal that like I know of right now, but yeah. Um, oh, I misspelled icon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we don't need that. Now you can also set the um, duration. Yep, the duration of this notification. The default is five seconds. So it will basic the default will basically be like that five seconds, but you can also set it to like a kajillion seconds if you want it to. So yeah, that's always up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and type it in for ten seconds. Now what we're gonna do is we're also going to go ahead and do our two buttons. These are also optional. Um, but yeah. Oh, actually, we can go ahead and uh, show you what this notification looks like. So once we click on play, it should send us our notification. As you can see, notification, this is a test notification. So basically, you're now done if that's all you want to do. But say that you want to, say, do something if they click a button on the notification. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and add in our button on our notification. Let's go and put our wait symbol there. And then for our first button, the maximum is two. If you just want one, all you got to do is just do the first one. For this one, we're just going to do button one and then equals and then the string value of what the button's going to say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say OK. Um, I'm just going to do in all caps. And then for button two, I'm just going to do button two and then equals and then cancel. So, yeah. Oh, and also we also got to put our wait symbol. Can't forget that. Now. Once we go ahead and click on play, uh, let's go and wait for that to load. 
as you can see we got our notification we have okay and cancel but when we click it it just goes away there's nothing that happens so if you actually do want something to happen then what we can do is we need to go ahead and go up here above this and we're going to go ahead and make us a function so we're going to make a function right here and then we'll go ahead and do uh make this function sin uh no actually we're going to go ahead and call it notification callback and then inside these parentheses right here we're going to go ahead and insert the text um, so that's going to be like the text of the button that we press. So like if we press button one, then this text variable right here would equal to OK. If we clicked button two, then this text variable would be cancel or whatever you put in these string values for each button. So now here we're going to go ahead and type in if text equals equals, and then we'll go ahead and put in our string value and then okay so basically if we click this button right here then now we can do whatever we want i'm gonna go ahead and uh print out something in the output and it's gonna say press okay button now technically here because there's only a maximum of two buttons we can just say else so basically that's just saying like if we click the other button that's not what we put here <laughs> so then we'll just say uh oh wait i forgot gotta put in print and then press cancel button so now if you go ahead and go in the game with the script how it is right now if you look as you can see still doesn't do anything it never printed that is because what we need to do is we need to make this into a bindable function so it's actually really simple to do uh we just type in local uh we'll just go ahead and call this callback and then equals instance dot new bindable function and then we have to give this bindable function a parent so we just do comma script so basically that just makes it like add in a bindable function to the script basically so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and type in callback dot on in on invoke and then equals notification callback do not put these parentheses at the end or else it will not work so basically whenever the callback happens it fires this bindable function which fires this function so yeah so we'll go ahead and put just put this after the duration and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in callback equals callback and then the wait symbol so yep that's uh basically it so now if we go ahead and click on play let's go ahead and wait for this load up we click OK. As you can see, it prints an output, pressed OK button. And then once we click on stop and then click on the play button up here again. And then we click on cancel. As you can see, it said press cancel button. So yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, please leave a like and subscribe down below. It's always free and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like my content. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.